<laughs> well, praise God. Are you loving the Lord this morning? Robin, would you come, please? I am so excited today to introduce to you this wonderful group of young people. Come on, guys. This is the Chaitin family. They've been in ministry full-time for about five years. The oldest is 20. The youngest is 11. So they started traveling early. And they are going to bless your socks off. Listen, they have appeared with Bill Gaither, Linda Randall, the Collingsworth family. Uh, they've sang at the White House. They received an award from the United States for their ministry in New York City. They were on the streets of New York City doing street ministry, handing out food to the homeless. And uh, they are just wonderful young people. So I want you to give it up for the Chiton family. Good morning. It is a blessing to be here this morning. Is it okay if I give a short testimony? You know, my parents, they taught us that, you know, it's singing gospel music, you can't be a hypocrite. You have to know Jesus for yourself. And they always taught us that you could always go to the source first. And I remember one time we were driving to New York and the transmission in the van shut down. And my father, he went out and he prayed. And he asked God to manifest himself before his children so that we may know that he is the true and living God. And, well, it has gone to heart. And, you know, one time we were in Florida. And the windscreen of the van, it was, from traveling, you know, there were a lot of bugs on the screen and you couldn't see much out of it. And we had no windshield washer in the car. But the lesson had been learned. And my sister, you know, when you're in trouble, you always go to a friend. And so she had a conversation with a friend, and how did it go? Dear God, could we have 20 seconds of rain? Just 20 seconds, just to clean the windshield, and then you can stop it. And lo and behold, in just five seconds, the rain started to pour and the windshield was clean. And just as fast as it came, it disappeared. But you know why this happened? Because she knows God and she trusts God. He knows that, she, that he is gonna answer her prayer. This morning, we wanna remind you that if you know God, he's gonna come through for you. And if you, no matter what anybody says, I know God. And because I know him, I know that he's alive. I walked by the tomb of Buddha I looked inside and saw his bones so I traveled on to see Muhammad still wrapped up in his grave clothes then I He left him lay, but the precious lamb God's own begotten, he was no longer in that grave. See 
you're standing in the darkness come and step into the light his nail pierced hands reach out to help you to pull you safe from death to life yes I too I stood where you stand how could I trust all in things unseen but just one step in his direction and then Tell you what I'm going to ask you to do. Wait just a moment. Start over. Start over. Sing it one more time. Okay? Good. Praise the Lord. his bones so I traveled on to see Mohammed still wrapped up in his grief clothes but then I journeyed to a garden where on shore left him late but the precious lamb God's own begotten he was no longer in that grave if you knew him like I know See this. 
devil doesn't have them all, does he? No, no, no. These young folk, you may be seated, they have records back there after the service. And I want to tell you, if their records sound like they do, and of course they do, you will play them over and over and over again. So go by and get some after service, and they will bless your heart, that I promise. Those young'uns can sing. Hallelujah. <laughs> 